So this question says, in the given equation, B is a constant. This B right here. For which of the following values of B will the equation have more than one real solution? So this is, this is a key phrase, more than one real solution. And really, the, the key part is the real solution. Because the opposite of having a real solution is having an imaginary solution. Um, I guess you could also have no solution. So whenever I see that terminology, I'm thinking about, and I hope that you think about, this term discriminant. The discriminant is the part of the quadratic formula that is under the radical. It's the b squared minus 4ac. Now, how is this important? Well, it's really a shortcut to understanding the types of solutions you expect to have when you have a quadratic equation. Because if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, it means that you're going to have two real solutions, aka more than one real solution. Okay, so I'm going to use this plus plug-in answers to solve this question. And that's not the only way to solve it, so if you can think of other ways, please do write it in the comments for other students to see, but that's the way that I'm going to choose today. So I don't know what b is, that's what I'm trying to find, so I'm going to keep this as b squared. I do know that a is 64. How do I know that? Well, because a quadratic equation is of this format, of this structure, and I'm just matching these things up. A is 64, B is itself, C is 25. So negative 4 times A, 64 times C, 25. And again, I want that to be greater than 0 in order for me to have more than one real solution. So let's open up the calculator. 4 times 64 times 25 is 6,400. So I'm left with B squared minus 6,400 is greater than zero. Well, let's see what happens. If choice A is the right answer, that means I should be able to plug in negative 91. And this should be a true statement. So let's see what happens. 91, negative 91 squared is 8,281. Of course, if I only subtract 6,400 from that, what is left over will definitely be positive. So it will definitely be greater than zero. So choice A works. Now, if it works, it should be the right answer, right? Because nothing, we shouldn't have multiple correct answers here. But I can try choice B and see what happens, right? If I had negative 80 squared minus 6,400, well, what's negative 80 squared? Well, that actually is 6,400, right? So that would be equal to zero. And zero, of course, is not greater than zero. So therefore, choice B is gone. And all these numbers are smaller, so they're not going to work either. I wouldn't try them and waste your time, but if you want it, you can try those if you like. So the only answer here that works is choice A. So choice A must be the correct answer here.